On Tuesday, Rep. Matt Getz, R. Florida, sparked outrage by sending a threatening tweet at Michael Cohen as the former Trump attorney began his three days of testimony before Congress. Getz is known for his nauseatingly sycophantic behavior towards the inept ignoramus currently inhabiting the Oval Office, and critics immediately accused the congressman of engaging in a mobster-like effort to intimidate Cohen in an effort to ingratiate himself with the president. Showcasing for the umpteenth time what a classless goon he is, Getz targeted Cohen's family and alluded to some form of marital indiscretions on the part of Trump's former fixer. The Florida bar has already opened an investigation into the tweet, and in the face of withering backlash, Getz deleted the tweet and issued another in which he claimed that he has apologized to Cohen and admitted that targeting the disbarred attorney's family was out of line. It read more as a face-saving PR ploy than a sincere mea culpa. No w. It's turned out that those who interpreted Getz's retraction as disingenuous were almost certainly correct. Edward Isaac Davier of The Atlantic reported on Twitter that Trump called Rep. Getz last night from Hanoi, Vietnam, to discuss Michael Cohen's bombshell testimony. According to Davier, rather than explain how he now believes his threatening tweet was a mistake, Getz gushed unapologetically about it.